So this is a demonstration of the Meridian point of sale system. To start a transaction, you can either select uh, your name from the pick list at the bottom of the screen or use some form of scanning technology to scan a code in at the top of the screen. We're just going to select Paul to start the transaction. In its simplest sense here, we would just scan uh, some items. So we'll just scan three or four items here. And once you have scanned those items, you just click subtotal. You can see that we owe thirty-three dollars and thirty-three cents. We're going to take a this this person's going to pay for this with cash, and he's going to give us a fifty-dollar a fifty-dollar note. Now you can see there that we now owe them sixteen dollars sixty-seven in change. The cash draw would have kicked open, and that transaction is now complete. The Meridian system also handles laybys with ease. So to start a layby, just again log in. You bring up some sales. Press the hold deposit key. And we are going to take a $10 cash deposit for this. and we're going to leave the balance, the $49.90 outstanding. That's going to then ask us to enter some customer details. Now, if there's already a customer on a file, you can recall that customer. So we just recall previous and search the name for Pat Hollis here and select him. And we're going to save those details away with this with this sale. So you can see here there is that, that'll print a, a lay by receipt out which tells them uh, the name of the customer, the products purchased and the amount paid and the amount left to pay. Uh, you can email that receipt off to them or print it out at the time. I'm just going to exit without sending that to here at the minute. Then when that person comes back in to either pay another uh, amount off or to collect the sale, you'd log in, uh, you record the transaction. So you can, if you have the reference number, you can just scan that reference number in. Alternatively, you can search by name or, or by phone number here. We're going to select this last one because we know that was uh, that's the one that it was. You can see down here 59.50. If we go to the uh, payment screen again, uh, we've already paid $10. I'm going to pay the balance now 49.90. I could, if I wanted to, just pay another $10 off, but I'm going to pay the balance of this with a credit card. 49.90. Uh, enter. And that will then uh, print the receipt out saying that we previously paid $10, we now paid $49.90. Uh, and again, I can email that receipt off. The system's also set up to enable the sale and redemption of gift cards. So to Make a sale of a gift card, just click on the gift card sale. We're going to sell this one for $150. And we're going to take a payment for that. And they're going to pay by credit card uh, $150. And then we would swipe the gift card. Uh, that will that will give us the gift card number and the security code. We accept that. And that that gift card is now, that $150 is now available for use. Uh, so when that person comes back in to redeem the gift card, they're going to make um, a purchase of $89.95. We're going to go across to the pay screen 
Uh, we're going to use a gift card to pay for that. We would then swipe the gift card and accept that. Uh, and you can see here now 89.95. And down the bottom here, we're saying that uh, the original balance was $150. After we've made this transaction, there's going to be $60.15 left on this gift card. Uh, so we'll just accept that. And that transaction is now finished. If we did, if that person comes back in and they want to know how much they have available on the gift card, you can do a card balance inquiry here. Again, you just uh, scan the gift card. Uh, you can retrieve any history against that. And so you can see here that it was issued on the 12th and for $150 and we've had one sale transaction against it. So we've used uh, 89.85, uh, leaving $60.15 available.